Hello friends, let's understand the risks in the financial technology or fintech domain. So what are the risks in financial technology? What impact this risk could have on the future of fintech? Why should we know about this risk and how it will help us in our career? There are fundamentally four sources of risk in financial technology. One is the ecosystem in which the financial technology firms operate. Number two, the business models that the financial technology firms use. Number three is the nature of industry itself being a part of banking, financial services and insurance. And number four, the risk that emanates from the heavy use of technology. So let's look at what are these risks. The key risks in fintech domain include number one, funding risk. Number two, credit and liquidity risk. Number three, operational risk. Number four, technology risk. Number five, security related risks number six reputational risk and number seven regulatory risks let's look at each of these in detail number one funding risk the fintech companies follow disruptive business models means they bring in the models that shake up the industry for example in the payment space the companies have come up with, let's say, contactless payments, the devices that can hold the balances for you, so IoT-based kind of solutions. So this disturbs the industry. So by nature, those fintech companies themselves can be distracted by some other innovative fintech company. The expectations from fintech companies are very, very high in terms of the returns that the investors will get. And any kind of slowdown in the funding can impact these companies very heavily because these companies typically work on the cash burn model initially. They burn a lot of cash with the hope of acquiring a large number of customers and slowly turning profitable. But the investors are global, the competition for funds is also global because the fintech companies are there across the world. And if the exit options are not good enough for the investors, let's say the existing investors are not able to exit, then there will be a less appetite for investment in fintech. Number two risk that they face is the credit and liquidity risk. This is specifically so for the fintech companies that are in the lending or credit business. Those which help provide credit instantaneously as an example. There could be defaults in payment by the customers or the borrowers. There could be delays as well, right? which is a risk that any bank carries as an example. And this will lead to the asset and liability mismatch. Your liabilities might become due, but your assets might not be coming in. So your liquidity is under stress. So managing receivables from the borrowers is very, very important. And specifically, since many of these companies burn cash initially, the management of this liquidity becomes extremely crucial. The number three risk that the fintech companies face is operational risk. The operational risks are of three types that they face. External risk, people related risk and process related risks. The external risk as any other business faces could be any kind of natural disasters, for example, unforeseen market events, uh, global competition and many others. The human risk that they or people related risk that they face are around the skills availability because many of these fintech companies are using some kind of you know, high-end technology like artificial intelligence, machine learning. If these companies typically thrive on small teams, so for example, if two key team members live, there will be a uh, different kind, difficult kind of a situation. There could be errors because the technology company programming errors can happen like they do happen, right? Defects creeping in uh, and then, you know, key people living, as I mentioned, could be a huge kind of a risk for these kind of companies. If the people are not trained enough or they don't follow the process or let's say the frauds take place, then these fintech companies are dealing with money, you know, and then it can be highly disastrous for them. So these are the cases of operational risk in the fintech space. The fourth risk that the fintechs carry is technology risk itself because as the name suggests, these are financial technology firms. So this is a heavily technology dependent business, right? If the technology uh, supply is not there, then this business cannot survive. So availability of talented people with right kind of skills and retaining those people is extremely crucial. And that's a big risk in this business. The, these companies are typically using technology that is very fast moving, like SMAC, for example, social mobility, analytics and computing. These are the technology in which a lot of innovation is happening. Or maybe something like artificial intelligence and machine learning, where the things are moving very, very fast. So there could be an obsolescence of the skills that the, these people are uh, employed. Then 
the technology obsolescence itself right you deploy some technology but new technology has come up which is much better then you will have to move that technology otherwise your technology becomes obsolete they face the normal risk that other players face for example any kind of technology company faces but from fintech the expectations of availability are very very high so if the system outage is there customers will be very very unhappy if there is any kind of you know access issue for example the speed of access is slow or the bandwidth is not available then the customers will be unhappy and your reputation will suffer any kind of cyber attacks that might happen on these kind of firms or any kind of data breaches where the private data of the customers is shared can be very fatal for the fintech player the fifth risk is in specific the security risk and it is around many things including for example if their systems are hacked into or any kind of insider you know threats are there for example any com employee committing any kind of a fraud or you know taking away customer data uh, if any kind of authentication issues happen for example if they are not able to authenticate the customer customer will become unhappy there are small teams so you know the people in teams might play multiple roles they might have access to the entire system which typically in large teams you know some people control the access and there will be multiple levels of authentication but with small teams typically in these fintech uh, companies uh, you know you, you have you know much more security risk they are dependent heavily on using technologies like cloud and if there is any kind of a issue with the cloud usage or let's say the breach of the data in the cloud itself right so these companies are also exposed to that kind of a risk the sixth risk that the fintech companies are exposed to is reputational risk right so because your reputation or trust is very very important as we know in the business of banking trust is the only thing that the banks have got so you know same same almost holds for fintechs as well because people are trusting them with their financial transactions or with uh, money balances they, these are a focus of the regulators so you know sebi rbi are extremely you know, focused on making sure that the financial technology firms work well uh, any kind of negative publicity or public opinion uh, can you know impact them adversely it can lead to the loss of customers or you know loss of business so for example if the data uh, of a fintech company you know gets breached and let's say the uh, details are being let's say sold on the internet like they do happen in some cases right or any kind of unauthorized access to the data is there and maybe funds are getting transferred out etc then there's a reputational risk that this fintech player will suffer and then the last risk that the fintech players uh, are, are very much exposed to is regulatory risk because as we know banking financial services and insurance itself is the most regulated industry across the world you know uh, probably along with healthcare so any and specifically in the fintech space the regulation is evolving for example rbi you know some time back came out with the regulation around p2p lending right where they were sort of heavily coming down on those kind of platforms uh, cryptocurrency for example in india there has been um, sort of you know uh, the rbi and the government has been discouraging the cryptocurrency so anybody who is betting any kind of a fintech player betting big on cryptocurrency for example in india will definitely have to worry about the risk from regulation uh, there can be fines penalties and of course in some cases people might go to jail so you know that risk is always there um, any kind of illegal use of the applications or platforms where people might expose them to you no know, any kind of suits for example any illegal use of cryptocurrency from uh, you know where the firm is involved you know they can get the the uh, promoters for this management can face even jail time uh, if the they, they are using customer data with consent and the consent gets violated in some way the customer identity is not well established for example any anti money laundering uh, kyc or banking secrecy kind of compliances are not taken care of then you know the, there will be a regulators uh, uh, you know very much monitoring and maybe levy uh, fines and could be withdrawing some kind of you know licenses also documentation and contracts if not being proper the outsourcing partners with whom let's say the fintech firm works for example for product development failing to you know sort of keep their kind of commitments or any kind of counter parties you know not being available not being able to honor their contract like for example the merchants and the banks where the money is held right so those kind of risk is something that the fintech players face so regulatory risk is a big big risk in the fintech domain as well so understanding this this kind of risk will help you identify any kind of opportunities in risk management in fintech and you know acquire right kind of skills and then have a great career in the fintech area i hope you found this video very useful if yes please do share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel thank you very much and cheers